Joining me right now is the uh, South Central Calhoun boys at Distance Medley team. We'll start off with Kyler Case who opened things up today. Kyler, how did you feel early on here today? I felt better out of the blocks in that relay than my 4 by 2 I ran clean, didn't tense up, felt smooth, so that was better. What do you contribute that to? Just previously running that relay, the 4 by 2 earlier, just got, my, like, got me used to it, so I was able to focus and run this one. Happy with how things went, Kyler? What's that? Happy with how things went? Yep, I'd say we were pretty happy, and we cut off three seconds from our previous best time. That might be a school record too, so. Any idea what that school record was? I think they said it was a 43 or 42. We went 41, so. Well, what would you do if you got that school record? What would that mean to you as a senior? It means quite a bit. Well, that was part of our goal coming down here. We're trying to break our previous school record and just set it for the newcomers coming in, so. Well, I tell you what, Kyler, it would be a great way to go out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Talking with Kyler Case there, let's move on now to Cody Case. And Cody, congratulations. Maybe part of a school record as your freshman year down here at State Track. What would that mean for you? Oh, that meant a ton. Uh, we couldn't have had it done without everybody else, so I don't know. It'd be pretty cool. How'd you feel out there today in this in this race? I felt like I ran a little bit yeah, looser than I. I didn't meters. tighten up, so that's good. I ran. <laughs> I ran loose and that was good. Uh, did, did he contribute some of that to run in here a little bit ago? Uh, yeah, I, I got to drop the stick last time, so I had nothing to lose, so I just kind of ran loose and didn't think about anything. Uh, handoffs go well this time? Yeah, they did. I thought they went really well. Kyler and I uh, had a good handoff, and he uh, was good. And then Zach, I chased down Zach a little bit for a good handoff. Well, Cody, I tell you what, appreciate you joining us. Great job. Let's move over now to Zach Ludwig, who ran the third leg here today. Uh, Zach, Zach, how'd you feel out there? Um, uh, pretty good, I guess. Got off to an okay start and then just kicked it at the end, I guess. What was your strategy for this for your portion of the race? Um, I guess I just like to go out hard about the first one, then kind of go hard the next one to uh, 50, and then just kick, start that kick at the 200 to 250 around. Were you able to execute your, your strategy today pretty well? Um, I think fairly well, I thought, fairly well. You guys look like you might have a school record. I haven't verified yet, but uh, what do you contribute to cutting down the time to here today? Um, well, I guess just being here in the competition. The competition's a lot better, and I meant just running here gets you, you know, pumped and excited, so I think you just run faster that way. What would a school record mean for you? Um, just a lot, because, you know, you grow up watching all those people, and you want to be like them when you grow older, and just to break school records means a lot. Well, Zachary, appreciate you joining us. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's move Tanner Schrod now here in here, the guy that had to run that anchor leg. Tanner, a uh, warm one today. Uh, oh, yeah. How did you hold up in that heat? Um, well, we've been trying to find shade all day. Our student section is right up there in the bright neon section, right underneath the box. So the, the press box provides shade, and that's we're lucky to have that to get out of the seat. Um, definitely probably one of the most warm days for a track meet we've had all season. Did, did it help you today, or do you think it hindered you some? Um, I guess you got to adapt to the heat or the cold one way or the other. And uh, the biggest part is uh, there was no wind, so luckily it was, in my opinion, a very nice day. Uh, how did you feel out on the course running? Um, you had a nice slight breeze. It kept you going. And, uh, well, on that first stretch, I'm like, yeah, we're coming in first. We're doing great. And I saw Cody and Kyler, and they were like, oh, wow, we're running great 200 times. And then Zach comes off, and he's taking off like a gun. And he's doing crazy. I'm thinking, well, I got to keep up, and I got to do that too. <laughs> and I might have started off a little too strong. And uh, then that second second lap hits you. He's like, oh, man, but I know I, uh, I look like I died out there. He's probably back here at the end. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to get it last for the team. I'm going to get it last at state. And then uh, suddenly on the front stretch, all these guys start dying. I'm just like, oh, yeah, now it's time to go pick them off and catch back up. And so I thought we did pretty well. Did you feel like you had a lot left then all of a sudden at the end when you saw other guys getting tired? Yeah, it's usually that last stretch is where you're just like, it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. It's it's you're fighting for the guys standing next to you, and you gotta go and you gotta you gotta push your hardest for them. Well, I tell you what, that's a great way to look at it, Tanner. We appreciate you joining us today. Great job. Thank you.